Well, Japan, we just saw the GDP numbers come in. They just dropped our global economics and policy editor, Kathleen Hayes, here with a little bit of context. Half percentage point growth in the first quarter. Well, you know, but when you annualize it as a 2.2 percent rate, yeah. and certainly that's what the BOJ, that's what economists are looking at. That's how the, the sort of the standard way. But uh, basically, that 2.2 percent beat the forecast. Our Bloomberg survey was looking for 1.7 percent. And, you know, it's almost well, I shouldn't say almost double. It was 1.2% in the uh, fourth quarter revised, a little higher to 1.4. Still 2.2%, longest string of growth, five straight quarters of GDP. That has not happened since 2006 during Japan's last period of political stability under the leadership of then Prime Minister uh, Junichiro Koizumi, as our colleagues in Japan uh, wrote just 24 hours ago. But when I was in Tokyo uh, for three weeks, a lot of people were talking about this because there's so much pressure on the BOJ to boost inflation. And it's true that inflation is just barely above above zero, but GDP is growing, wages have started to rise, you've got a tight labor market. Some of the numbers within the report, uh, consumption up 0.4 percent, business spending had been negative the uh, previous quarter down uh, 0.4, up 0.2. Now the deflator is not looking so good, that measures inflation at, at the annualized rate or the is uh, zero, minus 0 0.8, so it's still stuck. At any rate, I think this is the kind of thing that certainly Prime Minister Abe can applaud, mm -hmm. BOJ can applaud, and BOJ can say, yes, it's going to take a long time to get inflation up, but we are producing the kind of growth we're going to need to see that inflation rate moving higher. That's the glass is more than half full. <laughs> the critics are still out there saying, when are you going to show us the money? When are you going to show us the beef of inflation? But this report is certainly uh, looks like good news for Japan overall. Uh, yeah, I, and Kathleen, it's it's... It's interesting. Uh, you mentioned about the negative deflator. I mean, it, this was actually uh, a worse, slightly worse than what economists were expecting, a, a, a negative 0.8 percent. So I guess the deflationary mindset is still very much uh, intact here in Japan. How is the BOJ going to react to all of this? Well, you know, that's one of the things that really struck me, uh, that Japanese people are used to such a long period of prices not rising. That's what they expect and enforce a lot of households, everyone says, don't want to see inflation rising. But at any rate, yes, it's a tough hurdle to cross.